Hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode of State of the Fandom. We are recording at a breakneck pace because we have so much to talk about. But before we get to that, something very interesting that does play slightly into some of our other podcast topics. But you just asked me a very interesting question, which is, what is an incel? Yes, I'm not 100% certain on the term myself. Mostly because I live under a rock. And that rock, generally speaking, is I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about your dojo. Oh, have you, uh, have you listened to that song anytime recently? It's, uh, it's called Fet's Vet. I-, I will have to play it for you because it is wonderful. It is a relic of its time, of like 2008. Oh my god. Someone recorded a video for it in Star Wars Online. That's the music video. Oh my it's, god. Mm, mm, it's beautiful. But anyway, so what is an incel? This is a very interesting topic, and I think you will greatly enjoy this as we as we enjoy our drive. So as we're coasting in a brick. Coasting in a brick. Built like, like a brick Jeep. Well we get like a hundred miles to the gallon at the moment. That's awesome. <laughs> This is stupid. So, an incel. The word is actually very simple. In cell. So I N and then separately C E L. Okay? Yeah. It means involuntarily celibate. Oh, got it. So it's guys, and because it is only guys, it is guys who are straight and cannot get the pussy that they want. Well, obviously, they think being a nice guy is the way to do it. In reality, being a nice guy is you're just a dick. Correct. Stop being a dick to women. Yes. Oh Talk my to God. women like they're women. This is, this is something that I actually really admire about you. And this is something that I, I have personally observed when we are, uh, you know, out and out doing, doing, and doing things. Yeah. You speak to men and women equally. Like, you, you do not change the way you speak. I, I assume that is because you don't give a fuck. But uh, a lot of people, especially from rural areas, a lot of people speak differently to men than they do to women. And it is very unfortunate. You know, here's an exaggerated version, okay? To a man, they might be like, Hey, yeah, bro. Oh, you're so talented at what you do. Like, uh, I like I like jobs, and I like women, I, and I like fast cars. I drink beer. Drink I, beer. I, I, drew, I, I drink beer. I got me a truck. Got me, I got me a truck. Are you Look going into Gookie 18, there? Look at this 18-point buck I just shot. Ain't there that cool? Yeah, yeah Billy. Let's do it. And even when oh, they look are... look at pretty lady over there. Oh, madam. Uh, madam, come on. Madam, um, let me hold the door for you. Well, see, I'm not worried about courteousness, but what I am worried about is this nice guy mentality, like you said, of like, if I'm a nice guy, why is that not enough? Now, that could be a whole podcast in and of itself. Oh, yeah. But you are not wrong that a lot of uh, involuntarily celibate or incel guys are, quote, nice guys. I'm a nice guy. I am nice to men. I am nice to women. And women do not respect me for being nice to them. But that's that's the rough pattern of thinking. Yeah, I need to work harder at being nice to them. Now, what do women appreciate? I, I am not very well versed in this topic, so you inform me. Dear. Yep, he sees a deer while we're driving. <laughs> this is very common for me. Why? <laughs> you found a deer. Good boy. By the way, we're going like 65 and I'm spotting deer on the middle of <laughs> That's awesome. It's like, guys, uh, I can spot deer, foxes, rabbits. It's very weird. Stop sign. What the fuck's a stop sign? <laughs> Jesus. Yes, we'll probably die one day from careening through a stop sign and over the uh, the edge of a dam. Um, that will pro- you'll probably find us in the ravine. Um, we'll just be a splat, and there'll be pony and furry uh, stuffy toys all around us. 
uh, just be from the from the explosion of our car hitting the ground, there's just no toys all over the ground. Yes. Stuffies, pony toys, whatever. Uh, yeah. Uh, but I'm just joking. <laughs> I can spot deer. It's great. So now, what we were saying? What I'm my question to you is, what do women like? So, what do women look for in a partner? Honestly, Jitter. women look for in a partner. It, it's not rocket surgery. Yeah. Here's what a woman looks for in a partner. Mm-hmm. Be polite to them. Sure. Treat them with a monicum of respect. Right. Well, treat them. Talk with... to them as equals. Just talk to them. Just... Yes. And, what? And, what? And women are. Far more selective over the men they choose. Of course they are. Most women will only have like three men in their lives or four men in their lives, tops. Uh, well, uh, I know this will not surprise you, but the same with men, uh, it actually skews upward, but only because of the top like one or two percent of the population yeah. in terms of number of sexual partners. I skew the distribution up quite a bit. You do not. But for every one of me, there's ten of you. <laughs> and it's more casual about the whole sexual thing, but... Meh. Yes, uh, he, uh, he, he's learning, but... <laughs> you're, you're learning, you're learning. So, anyway, let's... So, here's what I think that people look for in a partner. Okay? This is not based on, uh... This is not based on men, women, whatever. I am talking about what people look for in a partner. Yep. I think what people look for in a partner is confidence. And in addition to confidence, things like stability and the the best the best description of it that I've ever heard. I think it was my mom who said it or maybe my grandma or somebody. Some 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 wise woman in my family, I remember saying this. They said <laughs> find someone you can live with. Uh huh. Find someone that doesn't drive you crazy, and just hold on to them and don't let go. <laughs> it. The, I. I have met so many people that are miserable. Who are miserable, either out of relationships or in relationships. And I'm like, why? Your life is so short. Why would you be in a situation that makes you miserable? So. Let me go back to this because now I'm getting a bit ADHD. So, what do people look for in a partner? They look for confidence. In my opinion, this is the most important factor in both men and women searching for a partner. So, what makes someone feel confident? Money, power, ability, a nice car very skilled at what they do. Uh, oh, oh, I like men who have money. I like men who have money. Well, what can money do? Money can give stability and confidence. I think, in my opinion, stability and confidence are the key, not money or a nice car or whatever. Do, do you remember that guy that we saw in the, uh, in the parking lot of the um, of the Aldi's the other day, you might not remember. It was that guy who had that crazy purple mohawk. And oh, he had that guy was fucking crazy. Two women, women, one on either shoulder. That dude was crazy looking. He had he had tattoos all over. He had pierced ears out to shit. He, he didn't had, give a he, shit. He God, had awesome. big dick energy. He had huge dick energy, and he had two. Not one girlfriend, two girlfriends at the same time. He did not look rich. He was driving a junky car. He did not look like he had money, but he had uh, the dick. We got the meats here. We got big dick energy. Brought to you by our sponsor, Arby's. Arby's, we have the dick. (laughs) What? Yeah, no, that guy. Huge dick energy. Had the confidence of. I just don't give a fuck. Yes! And look how wonderful he is doing for himself. He has two girlfriends! That's awesome! Now, in my opinion, the vast majority of people, especially incels, but this applies to everyone, the vast majority of people need. 
to learn how to express confidence. Now, why do I say that? Uh, we'll, 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 we'll talk more about incels, but this is one of the things that incels struggle with the most, is self-confidence and showing confidence. That is two different things. Self-confidence is something that you feel and something that you have regardless of outside circumstances. You either have it or you don't. <laughs> uh, it, it's, there, there are degrees of self-confidence, but really it's pretty much one or the other. Well, you have it. Everyone has the ability to have self-confidence. It's right. just a learned skill. Yes! Some people start off with a natural modifier in self-confidence. Other people need to learn how to be self-confident. What does, what does someone who is a, let's say, millionaire, what does someone who has a million, what does someone who has a million dollars in his bank account have over an average listener of ours who generally are younger and less money? Not because of any reason other they than they're more, just starting their careers. They but, have more experience. Those that have millions of dollars have more experience. They have more experience and they have the confidence in their bank account. The bank account is imaginary. Uh-huh. Yeah, so so what you're telling me is two guys walk into a bar. Well, it sounds like the start of a joke. Two guys walk into a bar. One guy has a million dollars in his bank account. Like Asper. Oh my god. This is a person who uh, had zero dick energy. Oh Jesus Christ. Um, but had bitch dick energy. <laughs> literally. But uh, that's a story for another time. But Okay, he so had to wrap a, up his story in a quick overview. Sure. He had millions of dollars in his bank account. He acted like he was stupidly rich and wealthy. He called everyone peasants. <laughs> peasants? I don't want those peasants near me. Oh, how, I'm, a, I'm rich. I'm so rich. And yet, he, he had... Miserable. Mi he was miserable. He has no friends. And he, as far as I know, has never had a romantic partner. I... I I, he never mentioned ever having a romantic partner. Well, he had a romantic... Uh, he was a play toy for someone for a while. Oh, right, right, right. But, like, <laughs> the guy was, like, 30 or 32, and, like, dude, money is not what you need. What you need is to learn some fucking manners <laughs> and to be confident in yourself. He had so little confidence. It was sad. I wanted to help him if I could. But anyway... This is what incels feel all the time. I, they, here, here's what they do, my love, okay? They actually have something in common with you. You, you do not have incel energy, but oh, good. they, one of the things that incels feel is something that you have felt many times because we've talked about it, okay? You feel like someone should see you and respect you for who you are. Right? Yes. That is something that is important to you. Yes, as it should be important to many people. Yes. Now, I'm learning how to get people to, A, respect me. In mm -hmm. this case, it's just respect me because I'm a freight train. And if you dare to cross me, I will run <laughs> you over. Exactly. But what one of the things that you and I have been talking about a lot is how to uh, use whether it's clothes or, you know, a nice watch or something like that, how to use those symbols so that people will respect you. So, the feeling that you and many incels, I've known many incels, I've been on the internet a long time in brony and furry communities, of course I've known incels, uh, they will say things like, well, I have a good job, I have, uh, you know, I'm a computer engineer, I make a bajillion dollars, and yet, no girl will go out with me. I, I don't understand. Because you're boring. Because you don't have confidence. I've met these people, and I've seen them online, and I've seen videos about them online. They hunch their shoulders. They're like, well, I don't know why no girls want to go out with me. I'm like, I mean, I'm the opposite. It's like, oh, people don't want to go out with me. Okay. Well, here's, here's the reason why. I haven't asked anyone to go out with me in a little while. That's all I need you to do. Like, I ask someone, hey, you want to start dating? Okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, it's literally, for, for any incels out there, I promise you, it is literally that easy. In <laughs> fact, incels, I have, a, <laughs> I have a suggestion for you. Can you please 
go to a place like Telegram or Discord and find, assuming you're over the age of 18, obviously, but uh, with that caveat, go to a place like Telegram or Discord. In fact, here, go to Telegram right now. There is now, this was added recently, there is a nearby function on Telegram. Really? Yes! You can, if, if you activate this feature, you can see other people who have activated this feature in your town, regardless of how small that town is. Awesome. A town of 800 people might have four furries in it and they don't even know. Yeah. So here, turn on, to, here, here you go furries, this is a freebie. Turn on Telegram right now, go to your location settings, again, assuming you are over the age of 18. Please do not do this if you are under the age of 18. Uh, turn on location where people can see you and look through the profile pictures. If there's one of an anime person, or an anime girl, if there's one of a pony, if there's one of a furry, just message the person and say, hey, we happen to be from small town South Dakota. Oh, wow, well, I, 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 I didn't know there were any furries in small town. That's fucking awesome. It's, it's that easy. And don't be creeps to people online, incels, please. Here's how you do it. Hello. How are you doing today? You look my... Big dick energy. Let me give you an example, okay? Here's how you do it. I have never dated a woman, but I know that women want respect, but they also want to be treated the same way as everyone else. Uh-huh. So, it's a fine line. It is a balance. It's not one or the other. You don't go, oh yes, madam, please, would thou let me suck on thine feet? Like, that That kind of, like, over-deference is repulsive. Repulsive uh -huh. to women. I have talked to women who have said, why do the people in the brony and furry community do this? It is very weird. They, they treat me like, you know, some type of, like, beautiful porcelain angel. And I just want to be the same as everyone else. I don't want to be special to the guys. I want to be one of the guys, quote-unquote. But that sounds sexist, so let me rephrase. I want to be one of the everyones. You know, <laughs> and I want you to treat me... I get what you're saying. I, uh, take one of my best friends. Sure. She is a lady. Mm -hmm. She'll kick your fucking ass. Sure. Um, she's adorable. Yes. She's a kitten. Meow. And, in reality, she gets wet cuddles. Yes. And to be treated like normal people. Yes. Even though she has the greatest job of all time and one of the best jobs ever, oh, in yeah. my opinion. What's she, that? She trains doggos. That's awesome. To be hunting dogs and service animals. By the way, there are several charities in BC that train service dogs for vets. If you would be interested in working for one of them to help train service dogs. That's fucking awesome. Let's do it. But yes, no. My best, one of my better friends. What the fuck happened there? <laughs> Holy shit. I wish I had been recording that. We just went by an, uh, an accident on the highway, and it looks like a fucking tanker truck blew up or something. Wow, that was <laughs> wild. I have never seen a truck with an explosion mark like that before. Holy shit. What the hell? That is crazy. Uh, anyway, wow, that was distracting. <laughs> what the hell? So, to recap. How? Okay. To recap. To recap. Yeah? To recap. Incels are guys who they, they mostly gather online on places like Reddit, or, well, they got banned off of Reddit for uh, various reasons, but, um, you know, they meet up on incels.me and all these weird websites, and they meet up on Telegram and Discord as well. So that's why I recommended the Telegram thing, because most of them are on Telegram. Yeah. So, uh, they meet up on these different apps and sites and such, and they say, you know, oh, woe is me. Oh, rate my picture or whatever and then like there'll be a hundred comments of oh you look terrible I hate you no wonder women hate you blah 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 and it's like wow this is masochistic as hell uh -huh. it's sorry I had to pop the puppy he got his tail stuck it was a USB cord but it, I, it's, it looks like a tail my tail is stuck you have such a tiny tail your tail is so small 
my tail is stuck. Help. <laughs> so, but yes, where were we? We were, we talking, were talking about, about um, let's see, we we're talking about incels. I was telling you about some of the places that they gather online. Yes. And uh, th- this is one of the reasons why there are so many issues within the incel community, so to speak. Um, and I, I don't even like calling it a community. Uh, more like pity party would be accurate, but um, the pi- the incel pity party. They pity me. Ah, uh, what? And the, what they'll do is they will focus on stories about women. Of course they will. And they'll tell their own stories, but they'll also focus on stories. So like, oh yeah, Amber Heard. I hate Amber Heard. Fuck her. Oh, she should die. Blah 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 blah. Whatever, bitch, idiot, okay. shit like that. You stick your nose in the door and. You stick your nose and head around the door and say, Hey, have you ever spoken to a woman before? No, we haven't! They're evil and awful. I'm like, start there. There, <laughs> well, see, there there are a few different uh, flavors of incels, but the, oh, of uh, course. the MGTOWs are the one you're talking about. So, do you know what a MGTOW is? Uh, something that I avoid, like a plague? Good. Uh, so it is called Men Going Their Own Way. That is, that is the acronym. It is a very silly acronym for a very silly group of people. So these are, again, straight men, of course, and they say going their own way. So these are men that are basically saying, I'm not gay, but I'm only going to spend time with other men because men won't take me to court for uh, claiming that I did sexy things to them or whatever. Uh, their, their logic is very strange. <laughs> uh, so it's straight so men... <laughs> See, that's what I think. I think they're just like, yes, I'm mi- I'm so MGTOW, you guys. <laughs> I'm so MGTOW. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, I think that may be it. Uh, by the way, uh, just, so- just to bring up an aside here, uh, to any of you who have fathers and uncles who go to hunting lodges, there's a lot of gay shit that happens at hunting lodges. Uh, hunting camps, or whatever they're called. Uh, more often than not, these supposedly straight men uh, oftentimes go out into the middle of the woods and do very fun things with each other's butts. Oh, wow. And Is that a 50 cal in your pocket, or are you just having to see these things? Shut up and kiss me, Carl! <laughs> Carl, your, your ass! There's so much hair reflecting in the moonlight. Um, your silver hair on your butt is beautiful. Of course. Uh, just teasing. But Party fox. Meow. I, I like silver foxes too. Silver foxes are cute. <laughs> they have cute fuzzy silver hair, of especially course. on their belly. Meow. <laughs> so. The, the, the I wouldn't be disappointed. Oh. I wouldn't even be surprised. Yes. But. <laughs> you wouldn't be surprised about what? I wouldn't be surprised if you brought a silver fox home at some point. <laughs> uh, I don't know what you're talking about. If, if you're into it, you're into it. I, I, I don't understand. I, I, Older men, yeah, go for it. I, I have... As little preference as you have between gender, I have between different, like, versions of men. <laughs> so, I, I am not pansexual, unfortunately. It would be fun to be pansexual, but uh, yeah, I am... You're <laughs> uh, uh, Roughly half, yes. Um, but the, uh, <laughs> the same way that you like all genders, I like, like, I like Twinkie guys, I like buff guys. Like muscle guys, I like chubby guys. Chubby guys are my favorite. I know do you that. do you know one of the reasons why chubby guys are my favorite, my love? Because they give hugs. I yes. don't know. Well, yes. Ironically enough, that is the correct answer. Oh, okay. They they oftentimes are not appreciated for uh, their body. Oftentimes, chubbier, especially like you know, if somebody's like three hundred pounds, for example, oftentimes they are not appreciated at all wherever they go uh, of, you know, oh, well, you know, everybody body shames me and stuff like that. And one of the things that I enjoy in that scenario is I get to say, well, I think that you are beautiful. I think that you are very handsome. And they're like, oh, thank you. 
it's it's very sweet. I just want to book this new. Yeah. Now, uh, Link definitely has a preference for more twinky guys or uh, slim women. You, 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 you especially enjoy like athletic style. Uh, especially cute, cute batch, I think. <laughs> so, back to incels. Hooray! A depressing topic. So, well, it's only depressing because it's on the same level of self flagellation. Yes, and it's sad because. I'm surprised they just don't wear chastity cages and call it a day. A lot of them do, uh, ironically enough. <gasps> oh. Well, but, I understand why you would do it because it makes you horny as fuck. And of course! Yes. But that's fun with somebody. Yeah. Now, now, here is my advice to incels. Here is my advice. Take some time off the internet. You know, you don't have to, you know, disconnect from your friends or whatever. Don't, don't do stuff like that. But, like, switch over to texting or, like, choose just one app. Just be like, okay, you can contact me on SMS message, or you can contact me on Discord, but I'm not going to use, you know, Twitter and Facebook and, you know, these more harmful, in my opinion, much more harmful apps. Oh, and then, the second step, I see where we're going with this. Yes. Go out. Do something. Go Anything. out. Go out and do something cool. Okay? Like skydiving. Do something cool, such as... Beer? Skydiving. Go to a beer garden. Go to a marathon and run a tenth of the marathon. You don't have to run the whole thing. But as long as you run along next to the runners, it will look like you are running a marathon. You don't have to actually run the entire thing. Or, here's one. Play the shotgun beer drinking game. Oh, God. Uh, let's not encourage <laughs> overconsumption of alcohol. With fire. <laughs> no! No, do not do that. No! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh, you're such a jokester! <laughs> but Don't do that. Learn... That's a bad idea. Now, if you really want extra points in this step, okay? <laughs> extra, here's some bonus points. Do something that you know there will be a lot of women at the activity. Do a pottery class. In a pottery class, it will be you and 20 women. Oh, you're do... so cultured. Oh, oh, oh. How wonderful to have you in our class. And they're all, they will all be relatively older. They might be 40, for example. Oh my. Relatively ah. older to our audience. But That's they will fine. also all have money. So you can go on dates with them and they will pay for it. Uh -huh. A lot of incels are really poor because they have no confidence to get better jobs. But anyway, so this step in the process, okay? Go to an activity any activity in the real world. I would suggest, again, for extra bonus points, do an activity where you know there will be a lot of women. And again, do not be a creep! What the fuck, guys? Do not be a creep! Do not, don't, like, go up to a woman and be like, oh, your pottery is so beautiful. Uh, like, don't do that. Let them come to you! If you walk into a pottery class, everyone will introduce themselves to you. This is not rocket surgery. Oh, hey. Oh, I'm so one I'm so glad that we have a guy here at the knitting class and so young too. And the book club. <laughs> Go to a book club at the library. Perfect. It will be you, one guy, and eight women at the book club. Oh, damn. Like there's your pussy sandwich, right? Get you get you one pussy, two pussy, red pussy, blue pussy. That's get you as many pussy as you want. And as you do in cells, actually have sex, you will feel more confident. I I encourage you in cells, please. Go to events where there will be women between the age of 35 and 45. Or if you prefer silver foxes, even older. Well, the because are cougars. Pick it. Go to a place where there are cougars, and the fact that you are twenty years old will make them interested in you. Uh huh. Do you know how many women who are forty-five years old have not had sex with someone your age in twenty-five years? 
So if they are recently divorced, say, again, do not be a creep. Go up to them and say, hey, uh, I heard your name is Patty. I, I love these cakes. These cakes are great. The Patty cakes. <laughs> so funny. Leo. Don't be a creep. Compliment what they're doing in a genuine way. And don't just compliment a woman. Compliment the men as well, if there are men there, so that you are not only focused on one gender. That is weird. Whereas if you go up to everyone in the class and you say, oh my God, Jack, that pottery looks great. Uh, Teresa, that's looking more like a fish every time I see it. Good job. Like that kind of confidence and not discriminating between sexes. That's what people like. That makes you like a bull. And you won't even have to ask the women to have sex with you. They will approach you if you have that big dick energy confidence. Uh-huh. Walk into a, I, I encourage you, walk into a Michael's craft store. And again, do not be a creep, but go to a class at the Michael's craft store. Nine women and you. And then be nice and be genuine. And confident. And confident. Practice confidence in the real world without these fucking stupid idiots in your ear saying, oh, you can't do it. It's impossible. You can't ever have sex. It's impossible. I've been trying for 10 years. I mean, we had orgies at our house and I got all the dick I wanted. Yes. I got all the pussy I wanted, too. Nice. I yes. got We. I got a little bored. But <laughs> By, the, By fifth, the fifth orgy, you were bored. I was having the time of my life. Now, By the fifth orgy, I was just bored and just wanted to go do my own thing. That's great. But usually, I was tired. I got off of work. I'm like, I don't want to fucking deal with this now, shit. Now, here, <laughs> this, you bring up something interesting. So, just to, for clarification, in case this starts spreading around the incel community. Hi, incels. Uh, so, we are furries. Furries like to have sex. That is normal for furries. Fuck like jackrabbits. Great. Fuck like jackrabbits. Exactly. But we make sure that anytime we host an event, that it is all 18 plus, obviously, that it is consensual for everyone involved. Everyone is making sure to practice consent with everyone. No. Okay. Covering our bases, obviously. These are important. Making sure that everyone has protection. Making sure that everyone has plenty of lube. This is how you keep people safe. Is by having protection and knowing the risk when you are doing something. Doing something like an orgy. There is a risk of transmission. Yes. You can't get around that. It is impossible to get around that. But you can take extremely careful precautions to reduce the risk as much as possible, such as taking prep. And condoms. And condoms. Okay, here, 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 here's another freebie for you incels, okay? Get on prep first, so that you have no risk, or very much reduced risk, I should say, sorry, not no risk, you have much reduced risk of catching HIV. Then, Go to a bathhouse. Oh, my. A co-ed bathhouse where there are both men and women. Oh, that sounds like fun. Where Would you like one? to do that? Where do we want to find that? There's one? lots in D.C., I'm sure. Let's do it. Uh, but go to, or, or go to a uh, college that's having an event for the community. Not, not a college event. Again, do not be a creep. They do, they do stuff like, um, uh, they'll do like sales at the college where, you know, everybody bakes cookies and they sell co to make money for the college. Something like that. Where it's an event for the community. And you better bet there's going to be cute cheerleaders all over that thing. Wow. Hey, welcome to the event. Oh, would you like to have some cookie samples? Like, of course they're going to do that. And again, do not be a creep. But if you have a sincere compliment for one of the people there, men or women, 
Give people compliments. Everyone loves compliments. Everyone. As long as they are sincere. So go up to one of the booths where there's likely to be a female person selling because most sellers at these events are female. Uh huh. Go up to the person and say, wow, these cookies look amazing. Where did you get the recipe? Oh, you taste one. Oh, man, this is so good. These cookies look amazing. Almost as, ama- as amazing as you. <laughs> oh, why? See, you gotta, you gotta have that confidence. The difference between, the difference between, here, here is the difference between an incel and a pickup artist, okay? Here's how an incel would say that, all right? Yeah. Here's how an incel would say that. Uh, your cookies look so beautiful in the moonlight. Oh, oh God, uh, I'm throwing up. I'm, I'm talking to a woman. Oh, God. The, I'm exaggerating, but that's kind of the how they goes, talk get, on these forums. The woman goes, get out. Yeah, you are being a creep. Uh, pepper spray is out. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's what he was doing. That was great. Now, here's what your a... cookies are amazing. Here's what a quote-unquote... Here's what a quote-unquote pickup artist would say, okay? Yeah. Here's here's how a pickup artist would do it. I am not a pickup artist. I don't need to be a pickup artist. It is not e- it is not difficult to get as much dick as I want in the furry and in the <laughs> chub chaser community. It is not difficult. So, if I wanted to impress someone, here is what I would do. Let's say it was at an event. Walk up to the booth look at everything, see how the person looks, see how they talk to you. Are they receptive to any ideas? Like, if you if you look at their cookies and you say, oh, how was this made? And they go, uh-huh, whatever. Don't try to hit on that person. But, if you come up to their table and you're like, oh man, I love oatmeal raisin, that's what my grandma always made. And she goes, oh yeah, that's so cool. Where are you from? Tell me about your family. She wants to have sex with you. Probably. Yeah. Now, 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 I could be wrong. There are always false positives in these things. But that is an indication that someone is interested in you. As a friend or as a sexual partner. If someone asks, if someone asks about your family, they want to get to know you better. And often it is for a sexual reason. Not, not all the time, obviously. Platonic friends are awesome. But there are also non-platonic friends, and that's also great. Anyway, I want people to not take my words out of context and be like, oh, these tall people are just going hit on girls at conventions. I'm not. I'm saying go to a convention. If you want to, go to a convention where there will be a lot of women, such as a quilting convention. You might not give a shit about quilting, but if you go and you buy one thing in the vendor hall, one thing, so it looks like you're supposed to be there because you have a bag with stuff in it. You buy one thing, give it to your grandma, she'll love it. Buy her some quilting spares. So you're carrying it around that you have a badge and now you look like you're supposed to be there. Even if you have never heard of quilting in your life and this is the first time you're ever hearing of it. Go to a quilting convention. It will be 98% women and 2% gay men. I guarantee you. You will be the only sausage at the taco party. (laughs) I like sausage tacos. Oh, my. But my point is, there is no shortage of pussy. But there are men who are pussies. (laughs) See, See what I did there? But the the, the point is, have confidence in yourself and go to a place where you can meet people with whatever interest that you have. You can pick up a woman if you really want to. It's not difficult to get someone to go on a date with you. No, he isn't. Now, yes, women, generally speaking, at least in America, and I'm speaking in general, but in general, women are more selective with who they have sex with. But getting a person to agree to go out for free food is not hard. (laughs) Uh, hi! Okay, so here's what you do, okay? You go to the thing with lots of women, all right? Could be a quilting class, could be a knitting class, could be a a convention where they show off the latest sewing machines. I don't don't know. 
giving an example of different events that there would be lots of women at the thing. Let's assume we're, we're going to make the person the most incel person on earth. Johnny Bravo. Johnny Bravo, yes. Uh, so, go to the thing with lots of women, Johnny Bravo. And don't be a fucking creep. Even, let's, 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 hey, let's go mama. one step further. Do you remember, I don't remember his name, the guy from, uh, the guy from Big Bang Theory that can't talk to women, Raj. Remember? The... No, I don't really watch oh, Big Bang Theory. Well, the point is, is that he was an incel through and through, as far as I know. But, uh, he, whenever he would, like, meet a woman, he couldn't speak. He was too nervous to speak. Tiny dick energy. Absolutely. Negative dick energy. Let's, let's assume for the sake of argument that this is this person for some reason. They are so nervous that they have even trouble of, with the idea of, like, what should I say? Like, whatever. Maybe not mute, hopefully, but, like, has... Maybe they have a speech impediment. Maybe they have uh, issues with speech did for Helen some other Ke reason. Did Helen Keller ever get married? Yes! She was world famous and good for her. Now. She was mute and blind. Yes. And she became world famous. Incels, step up your game. Incels, if Helen fucking Keller can get a man, <laughs> you can get a woman. Get a <laughs> Helen Keller. Go to, a, go to a place where, go to a meeting of the blind. If you're worried about your looks, go to a convention with only blind people. <laughs> and you'll be the only seeing eye human at the convention. And you'll still get rejected, but... That's okay! <laughs> Darling, this is the message to tell them. Okay, rejection is fine. Do not worry about getting rejected. What do you think pickup artists do? They get rejected all the they time! They get rejected a thousand <laughs> times in the, say, in the course of one night. They might get rejected a thousand times, but that one thousand and first time is when they get laid! Huh? They, again! They again. see it as an art form. It is an art form! It, it, it should not be taken to some of the lengths that people do of this, like, creepy, weird, you know, pseudoscience and all of this. Oh my god. Uh, but here, here is how to be a pickup artist, quote-unquote. Not, not a pickup artist in the sense of all these weird jerks. Here is how to be a person who is able to get a date any night that they want, okay? just become James Bond. Yes! Have the confidence of James Bond. Role play in your head as James Bond. How about that? Hmm. Hello, ladies. It's Bond. It's Gold Bond. Bond. Gold Bond. Gold Bond. Perfect for my giant balls. <laughs> now, some ladies will not like that, but some will say, oh, that's really fucking funny, dude. Like, I... I you got to find your people. And this is one of the reasons why I keep saying, go to an event. Now, let's assume this person is so shy they can't even talk to anyone at the event. Let, let's assume that. Take 100 pictures of yourself at the event, surrounded by women. And then make one of those pictures your profile picture on Tinder. Oh, this guy's into quilting? Fuck yes! You will get all the pussy you could ever drown in. This is not challenging. If you're doing it right, you don't have to worry about suffocating. Just drown. It's fine. Yeah, you will drown in pussy if you go to a quilting convention and post a selfie. I am telling you, this is not difficult. It takes confidence. Uh, who would have thought that the world's best dating advice would be uh, go to a place where there are people you find attractive. I agree. Oh my god, it's so difficult to understand. And that is my soapbox for the day for all our incels out there. So if you enjoyed the podcast, please uh, give this a like, give this a comment, and uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we hope you have a wonderful day.